Well, we're back for episode two. I wasn't sure if I wanted to release it on today's date or release it on a Saturday like I usually do. So I usually don't um, don't post these videos in two parts, but as you guys see, there's a lot of stuff still here. I don't know how my planning is going to be for this. Um, I do plan on posting the next video this coming up Saturday uh, in terms of the other storage unit that's down yonder. Um, but I paid 60 bucks for a storage unit. If you didn't catch part one, uh, I paid $60 for this storage unit and I have 48 hours to clean out all the units that I bought. And <laughs> it's going to be a very fun, stressful ordeal. But enough me chain chattering. We're going to go through the rest of this unit and see if we struck gold. Still a lot of stuff in here. What, there's stuff there's in there? Clothes, yeah. Oh my goodness, that's how they packed it. I'll take this out. Oh wow. And it's all folded still. Wow. Those are retro. Oh yeah, the elastic's all like even shot on them. I don't know how really I do this with this furniture. Well, that's gonna have to be another one. Yeah, so maybe we do all the smalls today. Well, we can at least move the furniture out because this might be full too. Yeah, well, what's in here? All the stuff. Oh my gosh, this is uh, Rodney Dangerfield. Rover Dangerfield, but he's based off of Rodney Dangerfield. The, the, oh, there's shirts. There's more shirts. Well, I don't know if it's anything great. So in the first storage unit, or the first video, I should say, is the same storage unit. Uh, lots of band shirts, country band shirts, you know, ranging $30 to $200 t-shirts. No, uh, no rock and roll, no heavy metal. Country, a lot of country stuff in this unit. Well, this is, I mean, this is a little too far, it's a bear. Just a big bear? Promised Land State Park. Hmm. Yeah. Not to go through this. Paperwork. Paperwork. There's more clothes in there, but... Well, this guy's like a hard... Made in Thailand. Thailand. Yeah, I... Could be worth something. I just see... Oh, he's missing. Oh, his eyes are just curious what's in these bins over here. Will I grab one bin and bring it down? Yeah. I, got it. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to make space here. That's... Oh my goodness, this thing is so heavy. Oh, it's not close. Or if it is, it's old. You can move that... Um... You're going to have to put this over there. Probably move this. Yeah, because I don't think there's anything. You said that's empty, right? You can set it on this desk. Whoa, watch out on top of your head. What's it say on top? I don't know if you want to look. Fragile. Oh, carousel, carousel horse. horse. Box two of two. I wonder if these are the ones that have the music in them. I hope it's like an actual carousel, like from Bushkill Park. That would be nice. Oh, wow. It is... Is this what I think they are? They are. Oh my gosh. You want to have the honors? Hold it up to the light then because it's kind of dark. Oh my god. <laughs> Do people want these things? I don't know. But it is what I thought it was. You do it. What did I do? Yeah. I wonder if they made them. $15. Turn it around. Kmart. Turn it around. Sure. 15. They're from Kmart. 15. 
They have a Kmart label on the bottom. That's insane. Does anyone know anyone that collects carousel horses? This is a tote two of two. Yeah, they're, they're underneath all this cardboard. Jeez. I mean, they're nice. I don't know. Follow me. <laughs> is that the other one? Yeah. Or something I'm standing on. Oh, is that a display? Oh no, there's a... Huh. What's underneath? Can't tell. Yeah, there's more horses there. Oh, the pipe was sort of heavy. Something's in there? Plates. Plates and stuff. Something we can put this stuff in. Um, I don't know. Unless we just set it. What about what's in that box? It's in this box? Yeah, can we put stuff in it or is it full? Okay, it's pretty full. But... Stuff. Yeah, I can put it on the cart. Okay. Yep. Might be able to put some stuff in there. Yeah. ACDC video light. That's like a camcorder case and it's um, nothing in there. Currently just cleaning out the top of this so we can move it. Shame that's busted. And uh, there's just a complete set. I mean, there's hundreds of these plates. And I actually had the same exact plate back in the day. So what you used to be able to get at the local grocery store if you spent enough money, you used to be able to get like a plate or a bowl. There's a lot of what's in this bin stuff. They have a puzzle, looks like paperwork. That wasn't too exciting a bin. Dried plums, prune. Let's see if they have an expiration date. You can get some information on that. Best of use by August of 2009. So then help us out with information. All right. Anything in there? Uh, diapers. Oh. Kids, baby diapers. Um, Heavy, do not drop, be very careful. China and crystal fragile. How heavy is it? It's kind of heavy. That didn't sound great. I think it was the... Well, that kind of crystal. Oh. That's actually nice. These stuff. are nice. Eight, two candy dishes, three parfait glasses, salt and pepper shakers. Huh. Yeah, Let me show you guys kind of what it looks like. That does sit flat. That's nice. It is. You like a the drizzle. Set. There's plates down there and everything. Look at that. Not what I was really expecting when it says crystal glass. And then you have these for when you want a nice big drink. Mm. Hmm. Japan. People of YouTube want to see everything. You should 
honor some of those requests. It's sort of crystal-y. Looks more like in between crystal and depression. It's a big plate down here. There's actually another plate that matches the whole, whole set that matches this. Kind of like a farmish scene. Interesting. Might be a Lamberville box. You think this these stuff? These definitely. These are. would definitely. Sell. I think yeah, these are nice. These are gorgeous. They're great. MCM. 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 Look to them. MCM. All right, dragging out another bin stuff. Hopefully this video is going all right. I know it's been a very long day for myself. That looks like one of those like badges you put on a hat. Sometimes they're gold. That is definitely not gold. Or at least sometimes they're silver. I think the European ones sometimes are silver. Looks like just paperwork in there. Do have some clothes. It's a staff shirt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Another one. The last uh, video, the last time we were here, we found one. 1995 Star Trek Voyager. It's a cool older shirt. It is ripped up here. That's a shame. Well worn. Cool shirt. That side. Oh. That's our local radio for um, country music. It's Cat Country, 96. This looks old. <laughs> you know it's old if it's ever bubble print. That's what that is. It's bubble print for the lottery. And it looks like that bin, I just took everything from the bottom and flipped it to the top. That's it though for t-shirts. There's some socks, underwear and stuff. Interesting to find some. It's just, sometimes auction or sometimes these storage units, things are just thrown everywhere. Clothes mixed in with paperwork. Gotta do some recycling and do some donating. Alright, getting down to the nitty gritty here towards the end. This kind of went from a lot of vintage toy stuff, Nintendo stuff, to kind of houseware stuff. At least in the first video, that's how it was. Looks like there's a lot of VHSs. I bet these are all VHSs. They are. Wow. That's a collection. Ooh, that's on the. Uh, it's what, a minnow trap? Middle container. It's a couple dollars. It's not three. bad. What happened? We have three. This one's from Fort, Fort Dix. This one's really nice. Fort Jackson, South Carolina. Oh wow. I just like the yeah. illustrations, graphics, whatever you want to call it. And then this one is just a simple one. Um, I think it's just a regular mother. It doesn't it's not military related. Oh nice. All sorts of stuff. It's been a lot of lingerie. This vehicle is being operated by a remote control. <laughs> Little did they know. What? Here's your records, I think. Yeah, those are records. Oh, Elvis. Johnny Cash, help us, wait, what the heck? Oh, it's all ripped. It smells like old records in the house. If you know that smell, it's exactly that. For everyone out there who loves records, I'll go through some more. Another elephant down there. Yeah. Alvin and the Chipmunks.
made into the back corner. It looks like that is old VHS. This actually has a lock on it. So I think we'll have to see what's in there. All VHSs, nothing else. Oh, there's the food. There's the food. I see one can and other stuff. Looks like they just put the whole house in here. It's the same drawer trick me there. Stuff. More plates. Wow. More of those plates. Revolutionary technology. The last mystery item of this unit is whatever is behind these doors. Everything else has been discovered. The box has been removed. What is behind? What is that? So interesting. Wow. Huh. Fascinated by that. Hmm. All right. Pitch blackout, but it never stops. Uh, I do have a handful of things here. This is donations, but I do have some recyclables from that storage unit. I have a lot of recyclables from that storage unit. I probably have a lot of donations as well, but uh, unfortunately, I couldn't sort everything. Uh, within the time period that I, you know, would probably make sense to do. Uh, right now you have a total of 48 hours to clean out the storage unit. This is still the first day, but as of my, my schedule, I only have about 30 hours. So I don't have the full 48 due to scheduling conflicts. And uh, usually you would get about 72 hours to clean it out. So everything should also be cleaned out of the other unit by the end of tomorrow. Uh, I still have the furniture and the scrap metal from this unit uh, to also clean out tomorrow morning. And of course, I'm going trash pick in the morning. So yeah, grind doesn't stop, so to speak, but um, that's going to wrap it up here for part two of the storage unit. I went through uh, all the boxes, all the bins that were still left in the storage unit, uh, and I kind of showed you the rest of it. Other than furniture and the pile of scrap metal, there, there's nothing left inside of the unit itself. Everything is on a pile to be sorted, uh, or has already been. Some, some items have been sorted already, but uh, that's going to wrap it up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this storage unit treasure hunt. If you guys enjoyed, definitely smack the like button. Stay tuned uh, for this coming up uh, storage unit video I'm going to be posting about the other unit that I bought uh, so that should be fun as well. 
So stay tuned for that. If you want to see more, subscribe down below. We'll be playing treasure hunts more in the future. And uh, catch you guys next time. Next adventure. Who knows what we'll get into. It'll be something fun. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.